UD Prep travelling in style today, off to Paintworks. Check out that. Seat's gone for trimming. So today we've dropped the T6.1 off at Loughborough Paintworks. You'll know Loughborough Paintworks work from uh, loads of the vehicles that we've done over the past. Um, you'll know it from our flatbed, docker, and also the bad boy bonnet and the T6. And you'll also know it from this, the Japanese spec tailgate. Now the Japanese spec tailgate we um, did to Mikey's van a few months ago and had loads of people interested and loads of questions asking where you get a Japanese spec tailgate from. Well the answer to where you get one from is here, Loughborough Paintworks. It's not actually a Japanese tailgate, there's no different, you can't buy a Jap spec tailgate but it's just some things that we did to this one to make it look Jap spec and Mikey will explain what that is. So, to make it a bit cooler, we shorten the number plate recess down, it makes the back of the van look a lot fatter and we also smoothed out the brake light. So we just really liked it, we thought it looked really clean, uh, not everybody's taste but um, it, it was popular with us and popular with other people so we decided we were going to do it to that. That's what the T6.1 is here for. Uh, and a few other things, but we'll keep those a surprise until we pick it up. Uh, but we've got some other ideas we think might work pretty well. Check back soon, and we'll see how we get on. Right, so we're just back from picking up the T6.1 from Loughborough Paintworks uh, and as mentioned we've gone for another Japanese style tailgate so we'll just take you in closer uh, obviously Mikey had his done first on his static van and then we decided to get the same thing done to the 6.1 and we love it so I'll just show you around uh, a few bits we've done so the first and most obvious thing that Steve's done for us is made the number plate recess smaller on the T6 we've always felt that this is just really long for the length of the number plate and we wanted to go for uh, a shorter one to kind of replicate a Japanese import style number plate. So like you see on Skylines and stuff that's kind of where the, the name of a Jap spec tailgate came from. And then also just to clean up the boot we decided to delete the high level brake light. Again this isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea but it's just something we wanted to do to, to keep the lines cleaner and um, we think it works really well. And then the one other thing that we wanted to show you, this is uh, one of the favourite modifications we've ever done, uh, or Steve's done for us anyway. There we go. What looks different? Driver side, passenger side, fuel flap delete. <laughs> Don't think anybody's done this yet, or not that I'm aware of, but we're really pleased with how it's come out. Steve's done an absolutely amazing job with this. It just looks so factory. Uh, it's taken a lot of work, I think, from to figure out how to do that and how to get that work and the door to shut right. But again, just makes those lines really clean. And then finally, from the UD prep point of view, we had new seats put in. Just gone with our GTD style trim, gone with the grey check to match uh, the grey of the van. These seats are heated seats, but we've had extra foam put in just to give this nice stitching line. Uh, yeah, really pleased with how they've come out. So they were done by this guy, Neil, he's absolutely golden guy, really good, knows his stuff, been doing it for years, great value, he's not the cheapest but he's definitely not the most expensive, uh, yeah, we're really pleased with how the seats have come out and he does all our trimming now, so if you're looking to get your seats trimmed, Neil's the guy to use, say we sent you and I'm sure he'll look after you.
Ben. transports guys for helping us out again and partying hard with us on the Saturday it's sort of blur yeah Saturday night um, and thank you to everybody that came to the stand and saw us and asked about stuff and and uh, yeah we'll uh, see you again next year so uh, what do you think to all that then Warden? It's been emotional 